having a lot of fun. This is so cute. Wait, oh my gosh, when did Guy get here? I'm Kelsey PHK, aka Kelsey Dangerous, and I love colorful things. So I thought it would be funny if we tried the not so very challenge. It's a challenge of The Sims 4 where you have 10 generations, and each generation is themed after a different color. This generation is the Rose generation. We're on Gen 2, and we are with our girl. Poppy, she is a lover of the color red, is a politician and a serial romantic. And I am so, so excited because she just moved out and became an adult last episode. So she's out on her own. She just joined her political career and it is time to get to work on the Not So Berry Rose generation. There's a lot of requirements, mainly that we have to finish her aspiration, get to level 10 in her career. And also there's some plot ones to it too. If you want to check them out, that link as always will be below. Okay. So my goal today is maybe to finish the charisma skill or at least get like a lot farther in it. I also obviously want to get to a higher level of her career. We're joining her in the Barry Apartments. Since last time I did a renovation of the apartment, you can check that out on my second channel, More Kelsey and PJK. We did it live on Twitch. You can also check me out live if you would like to see future videos like this. I'm very excited to show you guys what I have in store. I'm so excited to be playing in this apartment. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. You know, we spent a little more money than I was expecting, but it's all good. We've got this lovely red brick, which I love. It's super warm. Here's her yoga slash work office space, her little bathroom, a little dining area, living area. And what's that? It looks like someplace for a cat. This is her red um, kitchen. I think it's just so cute. I was a little worried about decorating a red apartment, you know, but I think I really did a pretty bang up job with how it turned out. So if you're liking the new apartment, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Poppy just just became a young adult. Oh my gosh, she is not vibing right now. She needs to promote a cause and she's got work in 16 hours. She is very sad, however, because her childhood family pet mojito just died. She also looks very mad for some reason, but I think this might be the perfect opportunity to get your own pet, Poppy. So let's hire a service. Is that what it is? I think it is. We're going to hire a service. We're going to adopt a cat. I did debate back and forth whether or not she should be a dog girl. I really do think Poppy, since she's going to be very busy, she's not going to be very maternal either. I think a cat makes more sense, but that means that the next generation, yellow generation, will definitely have a dog. So this Julius is really giving me some Poppy energy. I love how floofy that cat is. Maybe I'll get Ramsey and make Ramsey like a little more. Oh, Ramsey's a girl. And Julius is obviously a boy. Was Mojito a boy or a girl? I've kind of forgotten. Oh no. <laughs> Don't roast me. I'm leaning towards Ramsey because of this like reddish hue. And I also think it'll look cute with little red details. So we're gonna go with Ramsey. Hey, here comes Ramsey. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh my gosh, a friendly introduction. I don't know the habits of this cat. So I'm very curious what this cat's personality is, but oh my God, do I already love this cat's vibe. Oh, Ramsey seems to love us. Give it a little treat. I just really want Ramsey and us to be best friends. Praise, talk to Ramsey. Mojito was a female cat. Okay, so we got another female cat. So oops, <laughs> I didn't even change that up. Oh, Mojito. Also, Ramsey and I, we, we have just such a bond. Obviously, the name's gonna change. Let me look up some like red themed names. Oh, they just became friends. This is perfect. Have we adopted yet? Okay, there it is. Oh, cute. Yes, I would love to adopt it. Okay, so I've looked up some red names. There's Crimson, Rosie, Poppy, Ruby, Cherry, Autumn, Hazel, which I don't know why Hazel would be a red name, but that's fine. I'm kind of going with Cherry. I think Cherry would be really cute for a cat. Cat or Ruby would be cute. I mean, Ramsey, Ruby, Poppy and Ruby. That's pretty cute. I wish I could ask you guys live, but I can't, but I will in the future. So I'm filming this a little early because I'm visiting my family, but once the Patreon's out, I actually might be able to ask some of you guys in real time, these kind of questions. By now, actually the Patreon is up. So if you do want to become a Patreon supporter, feel free. So also with the Patreon, if you're ever wondering where I get any of my CC content, it is all in a master list on my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Kelsey Dangerous. So please go check that out if you're interested. You can also become a Patreon supporter and there's 
there's plenty of awesome things that come with that. So yeah. All right, let's, or Rosie. Rosie's really cute. Let's go Rosie because Rosie looks like Ramsey. My sister has a dog named Rosie. But I don't care. This is Rosie. Okay, so we've officially adopted Rosie. Let us modify it in Kaz. I want to modify Rosie a little bit. I also want to give Rosie <laughs> the last name Barry. I want to go in to the eyes. And I want to give Rosie... Oh, there's only orange. I was like, I want to give Rosie some like red eyes. But I guess that's kind of creepy, isn't it? Let me know in the comments if we can change the eye color to... Oh, we can make red whiskers. I don't even see the whiskers. So that's completely unnecessary. Maybe we'll just do kind of what we did last time. We'll grab like a color and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna paint like the ears and stuff. There we go, yes, cute. Oh, maybe we could do like a little blush almost. I want it like even less. Maybe Rosie just has kind of like rosy cheeks. Although it would be cute like on a little flank or something to have like just a cute little, oh, like a red heart. How cute would that be? Oh my gosh, a little heart. On the chest. Oh, that's kind of cute. You know what? I'm gonna go with that. That's Rosie. She's she's perfect. She's perfect. All right, we're back in the house and we've got Rosie Berry. Look at little Rosie with the little heart. It's so cute. Poppy is looking pretty tired. We're going to the lock the door for all pets because uh, I don't want my pets running away again. Oh, little baby Rosie trying to cheer us up. So cute. I want to see what Rosie's like, like profile. She's a glutton. She's friendly. She's affectionate. Oh, look at her. She's just a little lover. Our little Rosie Berry. Oh, she's a little lover. She's very affectionate. That's so cute. Get a comforting. Oh my gosh. Look at Rosie. Oh my gosh. Is this not the cutest pet you've ever seen? Oh, okay. No, I guess we're going to do through the legs. Weird shot. Very artistic, Poppy. Oh, I'll I won't ever forget your little paws. Ooh, Guy want us to go over to his house and hang out. Guy, why don't you come over to my new house and hang out? Ask to hang out at Colonel Lot. Let's invite Guy over, our BFF. Guy, I think, is still a little younger than us, I wonder. Oh, he is a young adult. Oh my gosh, Guy is already a young adult. Let's get some daily treatments for the our face masks. Oh, she's very sad. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at little Rosie. So cute. Rosie's like, who's there, Mom? Who is there? Give him an apartment key. I feel like she's gonna be like, guy, she invited him over because she's so sad. She's like, guy, here's a key to my apartment. I want you to be over here whenever you want. Ask for advice about your sadness. Oh, mourning her pet. She's gonna be mourning him for another 16 hours. But throw some New Year's Eve confetti. I forgot that it's New Year's Eve, so they should be celebrating together. Maybe she should decorate. Get these little decoration box. They do come in like a red and green, so I guess we'll put that here for now. Now. Oh, that's so cute. They can also make resolutions and count down to midnight. Can I come see you? Of course, Celia. Apparently, we're accidentally having a house party. Um, he's very sad too. Why are you so sad? Oh, I guess he was there. Oh my gosh, invite in. Oh my gosh. I think he just says, I'm all right, Poppy. I just have some things I'm dealing with. Oh, it looks like Guy's pretty sad too. So we're inviting over our friends. You know, only closest friends need apply. Oh, is he not coming in? Like, come in, guy. Okay, there he goes. He's coming in. I was like, um, excuse you. Can we show off our, our new pet? Oh, look at that. She found some stuff. Cute. Okay. We're gonna put, I guess, this here and this over here. And this is here, I guess. Those are her winter decorations. Don't love them. Wouldn't have chosen probably any of these. Oh, Cecilia is also a young adult. I guess everybody kind of aged up. Oh, Rosie has her own unique fears. I wonder what scared Rosie. Oh, I wonder if she hates the TV. Like Mojito used to. Oh, such a cute cat. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with Rosie. Let's like watch the New Year's Eve countdown together. And then we're gonna make a New Year's resolution, I think. Her New Year's resolution is going to be to get promoted or raise a skill. Let's do raise a skill because she needs to do that anyway. Share New Year's Eve spirit. Talk about the pet's death a little bit. We're just having like a chill time with our besties. We never gave Celia a makeover. I feel like we probably should should. Maybe we should give her friends makeovers. I'll probably do that on stream. So I'll give her friends makeovers on stream so 
they'll be made over for the next one. Look at Pop Rosie. Rosie's like, I'm here for you, mom. So they're they're having a good time. They're watching. Maybe we can promote our cause. That could be good. Okay, we need to choose a cause first. Okay, cool. So let's choose a cause. We're gonna choose, maybe like choose World United. Oh, host with the most. We've done a lot of events. It's so cute. Oh, this is kind of like a bit of a bummer New Year's. I'm not gonna lie, but I think they're having a good time. I almost feel like they should have like a floor lamp over here of some sort. It just feels a little like dry, not having anything. Should we get a little floor lamp? Lighten up the place? <laughs> Pun. We could get something just very simple and white. That'd probably be good. Put like here. I think that looks cute over there actually. So let's do that. There we go. See a little bit more decor. I am spending a lot of her money, which is unfortunate because we are trying to save up for her other house, but it's all good. Ooh. Oh, she likes refrigerator. That's just like mojito rosie promote cause oh we still have it i thought we chose the cause okay no she's choosing the cause here so she's going to tell her friends about her new cause i think it makes sense that she would want like a world united because she's an alien and i think that she wants like community she wants everyone to be together oh we did successfully promote the cause oh we did it completed <gasps> rosie is playing with her big thing. Oh, she's so tiny in there. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I'm so happy that Rosie loves this. She really just blends right into the home, almost like worriedly so. Oh, oh God, we did it. We did it. Midnight happened. New Year's is happening. Should we like have a New Year's kiss? Should we invite someone over and have a New Year's kiss? Let's see if like Josh might come over to be her New Year's kiss. Cause she like should have invited probably Josh over sooner. Josh is sleeping. All right, well, and then Cecilia just left and then we just passed out on the couch and Guy, what's Guy doing? Guy's using the bathroom. This is interesting. He's talking to himself in the mirror. I wonder what he's thinking about. Oh. Oh, little affectionate bean. She gonna try to come up and sleep with Poppy? She's sleeping right next to her. Oh, look at the cuties. Poppy is just kind of wrecked from her day of moving and her pet dying. But meanwhile, I do not know what this guy is doing. Maybe he's just doing a little pep talks. Maybe he's really sad about Mojito too. He looks like he's gonna head out. He's not gonna bother Poppy. He's gonna let her sleep. I'm glad that they came by. They did not ask her, but they both came by. Oh, and it's spring. Oh, and Poppy would like to, starts work in one hour. Okay, we're gonna go to work. Oh, we can work from home. I want her to go to work though. It's her first day. She should go into the office, but it's good to know we can work from home in the future. She's on, I think on her period right now. She is, ooh, she's on her period. Oh, it's even worse. She probably needs to just have a quick meal. I wonder if I should just get the, the fancy trash can again so that we can maybe save up for the house. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna get the fancy trash can. Put it here. There we go. Okay, it cost a lot at the top, but I'm thinking that it'll be a worthwhile investment in, in the future. Oh, she's thinking about her family member. That's so cute. And now she's gonna go to work. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my God, look at her little work outfit. Ah, she looks so good. Good luck on your first day of work, Poppy. We're going to schmooze with the boss, I think. Yes, we're gonna schmooze. We're an unruly activist right now, but we gotta get up. You know, we wanna be a campaign intern. We're not even an intern yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Oh, excellent. Okay, keep going. Keep schmoozing. Yes! Oh, I think she might get it. Up. Oh my gosh, she was promoted first day. Yes, girl. Look at her. She's so proud. Promoted to campaign intern. Poppy has been promoted to campaign intern. She will now make an additional 10 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 26 simoleons per hour. Not amazing, but not the worst. She also got a bonus of 172 simoleons and can debate politics in her action. Her next shift is Monday, which is tomorrow. So that's amazing. Already level two, let's go. We also need to get our level six of charisma. So now that we're feeling, ooh, now that we're feeling pretty good, why don't we go into our bedroom and practice our speeches? You know, you're like, okay, well now I'm an intern. I might have to help with the speeches. So I'm gonna have to go practice. And then we might try to invite over Josh. He's probably like a little lonely. She's feeling very confident in her charisma skills. It's like very early. Oh, happy birthday, Poppy. Do you mind if I come make you some cake? Oh my 
gosh, of course, Auntie Hazel. Oh, Auntie Hazel's here. You know what? We're gonna have to hang with Auntie Hazel. I cannot. She and Hazel are probably the closest now because, you know, she's an adult and Hazel doesn't really like kids. We're gonna promote the cause a little more with Auntie Hazel. Be like, oh, I just started working on this campaign. It's about, you know, bringing the whole world together. Do you think you could support it? You know, oh my gosh, is that Sage is here? Oh my gosh, okay. Flirty introduction? Oh my gosh, she could flirt with Sage. Wait, Dan would like to come over too. Okay, Dan, you can come over. Friendly introduction, why are you here? You know what, uh, Sage, I don't know if I need to meet you, to be honest. Send home. You're like my mom's rival and I don't understand why you're here. Please, please leave. Okay, she likes my mirror at least. That's kind of okay, I guess. Dan is here, so tell him an unbelievable story. Maybe like, okay, yeah, she's leaving. Bye, Sage, we don't need you here. Don't be embarrassed. We'll check on him. Oh, it's game night. Wait, guy is just inviting himself over. Okay, I'm all right, Poppy. I have some things to deal with. Now he's feeling very playful. Share promotion news. I guess you guys can all watch a movie. Let's watch. She loves like comedy. Clumsy sisters. Let's watch with guy. Is Mint is here too? Okay. I guess everyone's coming by. Gray is also here. I mean, we could kind of try to like start something back up with Gray. Oh my gosh, Mint is here. Everybody came over for game night apparently. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? Helping Poppy settle in. I love that Poppy's like never alone. It's so cute. I don't know why these two are standing. It really kind of bugs me. She's like, I would like people to be quiet during the movie. I'm like, classic. Friends hangout it is. Apparently everybody came over for this friends hangout. Oh, Hazel might sit down. No, Hazel is apparently not gonna sit down and Dan is back up again. This is so chaotic. You know what, friends? As much as I loved watching this movie, I'm going to keep hanging out with everybody. <laughs> we could flirt with Dan. I feel like we should. I feel like we should flirt with Dan. Get our charisma up at least. She's gonna chat with Dan a little bit. Brighten his day. Also give like Mint like a little hug or something. Give mama a hug. Where's like a hug? Maybe flatter mom as well. Mint is bored. Classic Mint. She's just like, ugh, I don't like movies. Okay, everyone's headed out. Who is this? Sion. Okay, Sion. No, no, thank you. I don't want it. Let's chat more. And then I think we might like get a little flirt. Maybe a bold pickup line. You know, he's looking cute. Oh, he liked her little pickup line. Let's ask him if he's single. Apparently everyone's leaving. They're like, okay, friend, friend night is over. Ask for birthday money? That's hilarious. I hope your birthday was great. I missed it, apparently. You didn't invite me to the party, so I didn't even know. Super romantic compliment. Oh, nope. Auntie Hazel's still here. Auntie Hazel's still here. She came back in. Oh, everything's awkward now. Auntie Hazel, <laughs> stop listening into this flirtatious conversation, okay? I smile thinking about you when I'm alone. Oh my. Okay, it's awkward now though. Auntie Hazel kind of made it awkward. He's even like, uh, I don't really want to do this while your aunt's here. She's like, well, we're not really related, but we kind of are. We it feels like we are. Okay, well, all right. She needs to pee. Oh my gosh, Mint brought all of her friends over. Oh, Mint is hanging out with Rosie. And they're becoming friends. Mint is having so much fun. She's like, oh my gosh, it's like I'm a grandma. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Poppy, you should probably go to the bathroom, okay? Is he like leaving? Don't leave. We just need to go, okay? Don't leave. First kiss, yeah. Give him a little kiss when you get out there. It'd be cute. Yeah, her, her skin's looking a little better. Oh God, this is what her mom did. Her mom did that. She's so mad. She's like, I got sprayed with this. Mom, Mint's like, I gotta know y'all. Try not to miss me too much. I'm like, Mint, you pranked your daughter's toilet and just got destroyed. Okay, oh my gosh. She just came out and kissed her very bold in front of Auntie Hazel. Does not care Hazel's here. I thought Auntie Hazel would have left by now, TBH. Okay, Auntie Hazel's also feeling flirty, which is kind of weird. Uh, Auntie Hazel, can, can you can you go? Can you leave, please? We can't even ask her to leave again. All right. Okay, I literally really want Auntie Hazel just out of here. Sit together on on the bed. You know what? Maybe get some alone time without Auntie Hazel here. Or not. Oh, apparently he is more interested in talking to Auntie Hazel. Okay, now she's finally leaving. It's 1030. We're clearly tired, but we're gonna wake up anyway. Kind of give him a little pickup line. All right. It, you know, it might be weird that she was like asleep, but she's gonna, you know, invite him to sit on her bed. Oh my gosh, she's in this very pretty little outfit here. This is like the first time I think she's been alone in a room with a boy. And they're like childhood besties. Like they were really close growing up too. I could also ship this. I could also ship this. Let's see how she feels about Dan. She 
find Stan extremely attractive. I don't know, guys. I know a lot of people are on the train of guy. I also thought I was on the guy train, but she just keeps kind of like, you know, with him versus like, I feel like with Dan, that might be, you know, childhood friends to lovers also could be a thing. Oh no, Rosie's like, I don't know if I like this boy. Ooh, oh my gosh. I forgot that they could woohoo. It's very steamy going on here. I just really want them to have the high romantic relationship. Give him a massage. Oh, do not ask him to be your boyfriend. You don't need to do that right now. Maybe later. Oh, Poppy got the impression that Dan finds her quite attractive as well. Okay. I think she wanted a little bit of romance. Oh, apparently she does have a strong romantic relationship with a sim. Well, perfect. One down. We need three more. Three sims at once. So we need, we need Dan not to know that we're coming kind of play in the field a bit. Oh, what's wrong, sweet angel? Let's go check on Rosie. We're gonna check on Rosie, but we are having a lot of fun. She wants to tell a dirty joke to someone. This is so cute. Wait, oh my gosh, when did Guy get here? Guy just walked in. I can't believe Guy came in here. Oh my God. And they're wearing the same outfit. They really do both need makeovers. Oh my gosh. He's tense too. I mean, maybe he is into her, but she just doesn't seem into him yet. I don't know, we'll see what what happens. I don't want to force her into a relationship when she's not vibing him, you know? But at the same time, I I, I don't know. I, I keep feeling like it could happen and then it never does. I wonder if he and Dan ever had a thing? I'm very curious what's going on here. She also wants to take a cold shower. <laughs> Why don't we cook something actually? We'll cook a family sized garden salad so she has some garden salads for later. She's like ditching the boys and they're like, bye. I love the red kitchen. I'm very glad I went with the red kitchen after all. Oh, Dan's here. Just chilling with her while she cooks and chatting. This is super cute. I could ship this. I could ship this. He's feeling very, oh my gosh. Of course, Guy is here too. Getting better at her cooking skills. Proud of you, sweetie. Okay, we did not make that for you guys. I don't know why you guys are still here at 2 a.m. I got work tomorrow. Dan's like grabbing a salad. We did not make that for you, sir. Dan's like always sitting next to her. He's trying to hang out with her. I think once we give him a bit of a glow up, he might be a contender. I'm just saying. Look at her frolic and Rosie might be team Dan though, or team uh, guy. It seems like they're bonding, which is very cute. You know, get you a, a guy that, <laughs> pun, that will hang with your cat. That's very important. She's very tired, so she's gonna go to bed. I wonder what these guys are gonna do. He's talking on the phone and Dan's just chilling. Okay, Dan's headed out. Guy's still over. Oh my gosh, and Auntie Hazel came back. Auntie Hazel, no, I'm asleep. She's just chilling with uh, Rosie. Rosie loves eating. Yes, get nice and chonky, Rosie. We love a chonky cat. Oh my gosh, Dan is back. <gasps> and he let himself in. What is happening here? Okay, Pac is over. All right, this is 4 a.m. We get it. You know, I'm in a new place. Everyone wants to check it out. And Auntie Hazel's here and chatting with Dan. This is super weird. Good job, Rosie. Thank you for sleeping. Oh my gosh. And flipping Sage is here. Sage, go home. Myth is here? Mom, Mom. why won't anyone just let me go to sleep? Y'all need to get out of my house. Okay, gosh. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna clean the toilet and we're gonna gotta fix it. Mom, I blame you for doing this. I 100% blame you. Looks like everyone's been eating my salads. I made four for me. Luckily for you, I get money back on these salads. Mom's like ch chatting with her like, honey, if you wanna fix a toilet, you know, I, I know all the tricks. I've been doing it for a while. And she's like, mom? I love you. I thought I was gonna have more alone time since I moved out, but apparently not. She's gonna take someone on a date. Oh, Poppy starts work for, yeah, you're gonna go to work. You're gonna go. Or, oh, we got the lovely, the handiness skill going. Also, Paka's using our yoga mat. That's very sweet. Oh, oh, Miles is here. No, it's Flynn and PGK. Flynn, are you an adult? Flynn's kind of young looking. Oh, no, we should not skip. What is happening here? What is happening? Go to work, please, Poppy. She's feeling kind of nasty, but she did fix the toilet. Okay, yeah, it is time for all of you to go. Get out of my house. Did one of you let the cat out? Okay, no, the cat is not let out. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine. Okay, I don't even know why Flynn's here. I don't even think we know Flynn. We don't. I don't know why Flynn's in our house. Please stop. Please stop. Can you all just not? They're leaving. Okay, good. Let's fight the power. Is there like one? She can't work hard. Oh, she's already doing that. <gasps> 
She auto works hard. Oh my gosh, my good bean. I'm so proud of you, sweetie. Hey, Poppy has about 30 minutes free time at lunch, which how she should spend it. She's gonna read blogs for career advice. She's very like one track minded. She was, oh, I did not mean to go to the gym. Poppy breaks out of the workspace to go to the, get sweat and relishes the rewards of a lunch break well spent. The workout also relieves some of Poppy's stress and she'll perform her job even better. Ooh, you know what? I regret nothing. I'm glad that I accidentally went to the gym. My mail has been delivered. Ooh, we owe a thousand simoleons for rent. Ugh, we're gonna pay our bills when we get home. I don't think we're making enough money. We might end up in this apartment for longer than I anticipated. It's okay though, it's okay. It's a cute apartment, so I'm not mad. When she's adult, she'll get there. <gasps> we got another promotion, let's go! Promoted as social justice worker. Poppy has been promoted. She will now make an additional 13 simoleons an hour for a grand total of 39 simoleons per hour. She also got a bonus of 275 simoleons. Check cause, progress, interaction, computer, and a new creative sim club. Oh, great. Oh my gosh, she got some new clothes. She is feeling great. She got some money. Oh my gosh, her work is in two days. So she has a day off tomorrow, which might be nice. Let's take a shower, check in with Rosie. Maybe we'll play around with Rosie a bit. She also needs some fun. Let's play with Rosie first though. Let's check in with Rosie, give a big treat because Rosie's a glutton. And then we will also like, I want to play with the laser pointer. Yeah. And then we'll maybe do a little bit of yoga. Actually, we should probably do the thing that we need for this challenge. So we'll practice speeches instead of yoga, but maybe she will enjoy that anyway. Wait, did that count as kissing a Sim? How cute is that? She kissed her cat and it counted. Playing with the cat is a little fun. There we go. She is getting her fun up. Perfect. Aw, the humor and hijinks festival. That was always Mint's favorite. It's so weird to be like only Poppy all the time now, but I'm loving it. Okay, yes, queen. All right, here we go. She's going. Do you wanna go on a date? Dan wants her to go on a date with him. I mean, she obviously loves going on a date, but she needs to get other people. She needs to start seeing more people. But Dan's so cute and he asked her on a date. What would Poppy do? I feel like Poppy would start getting nervous. You know, like dating is fun and she would love to go on a date with Dan, but I feel like she'd be like, ooh, I don't want Dan to get the wrong idea and think that like we're more serious than we are. So she's gonna say no, which is like so harsh. Why is her charisma just not going up at all? I like don't understand. It's really just not, there's nothing happening. Oh, she's sick. What the heck? Are we, oh, we're feverish. Okay, well, I never put out some of her things. Okay, we, we put the poppy doll up there. So we'll put the daisy in front of her work from her dad. And then here's her, her laptop. There we go. I realized that we just, we haven't put up any of her like photos and stuff. So we're gonna put up these. See, there's her cat. Oh. Oh, Auntie Hazel, this is very cute that she has all these photos. Okay, there we go, there we go. Practice that speech, get confident, queen. Wait, who's that? It's Akira Kibo, he's an elder now. I mean, he's still looking fine as an elder. Good for you, buddy. It feels like we've played like so much of this game already because some of these, oh, what? Oh my gosh, Rosie's already a full grown cat? You were a kitten for like two seconds, Rosie. Aw, Rosie's an adult cat. Oh, look how chalky Rosie is, I love Oh, you Rosie. Look at my big chonky lady. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, come on, girl. We got to get to the next level. I know that you're really tired and you're probably going to pass out, but I really want to be charisma level six. We got to get this done, girl. She's still sick. Oh, that's right. We are going to buy some medicine. Yep, she's like too tired. We're going to take her to sleep. But meanwhile, I want to no lecture about scratching. First up, I love you, my baby girl, but we don't scratch, okay? And give a big treat, okay? We gotta get some positive reinforcement. No scratching. Good job listening to us. We love you, Rosie. Okay, now I'm gonna modify Rosie and Kaz. We're gonna give Rosie a collar. I can't believe we just got Rosie and she's already full grown. Let's give her a cute little collar. Oh my gosh, is she cute? <gasps> cute! Okay, Rosie, you can have a little dress and then for your third outfit, oh my gosh. We'll keep the, the collar and the dress and that's, that's Rosie.
All right, go to bed. We have the day off tomorrow, so maybe we'll uh, get some romance going. All right, it's 6 a.m. She really goes to bed early and gets up early, and I really, I admire that. Let's do a little yoga routine. Or actually, you know what? Instead of yoga again, let's do practicing her speech every morning, you know, getting, getting ready for the day. And then maybe she'll eat a little salad. Yeah, and then she can do a little yoga this morning. And that'll be like her little morning routine. All right, that's enough, I suppose. She's spent like almost two hours practicing speeches and yet she's still not done with her next level. This is gonna take a while, I guess. I'm just, ugh. why are there two more people? There are always Br Brielle. Don't, I don't trust you first off. And number two, Rin, I don't know you. I need people to stop being able to just come in whenever they want. Like no trespassing, disallow neighbors, disallow solicitors disallow vampires. I'm gonna allow my friends, but watch it, okay? What's wrong with our cat? That was what we were checking on. Miles, oh, we just called Miles. Okay, that's who I wanted to hang out with today anyway, so. Can we go check on our kitty, please? Go see what's wrong. What's wrong, sweetie? You just being needy? Yeah, you want pets and cuddles. Great kisser, ooh. Increase charisma with every kiss. <gasps> That would be pretty good for her. Okay, maybe we'll do that. I'm gonna give her a great kisser. I want I want her to be like a really good kisser. I'm feeling like we should check out Miles Landgrab because you guys were like, she would use him for his connections. And I agree with you. Let's go to like the Stargazer Lounge. It seems like kind of like the fancy place in town that she would take him out to. All right, let's uh make a little flirtatious joke because she's feeling goofy. They're feeling good. Ooh, celebrate promotion. Bold pickup line. We're gonna keep kind of... Yes, Charisma level six, we did it! Okay, one down, we need 10 Sims kisses and three strong romantic relationships. I think he could be one of our strong romantic relationships if he stopped getting on the phone. All right, let's go get drinks together. He's feeling very flirty with her. I feel like you should be able to like kiss him because he would fall for her with her amazing kissing. She's a good kisser now. It's like only elders at this place. Why isn't this not cool anymore? Why are there only elders? I need to download more Sims. Please keep putting Sims in the gallery. I will download them next uh, tomorrow. Okay, our wines are here though, yay. Ooh, but she's feeling very flirty. Let's sit here together. Did he not want it? He doesn't want a drink. Tell an unbelievable story. Girl, Get over there, please. No, stop talking. Why is your mom crashing your date? Mom, get the F out. I love you, but please, I'm an adult now. Okay, now it's a suggestive conversation. Great. Mom, I swear, no. I am flirting right now. I'm on it. You know what? Okay, mom, no, no. I'm asking him on a date right now. Mom, this is awkward. This is awkward, mom. I love you, Mint. You need to stop. Okay, we're going somewhere else. We're gonna go to Del Sol Valley. Maybe it's like nearby and they're gonna go to like a lounge. I just can't right now with her mom. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're on a date officially with Miles. Oh, can they not get in? Oh, oh, I don't know if they can get in here. She's not a celebrity at all. Oh no. Okay, you know what? I'm deleting the door because I want them to be able to go to this establishment. We're getting just like a fancy door. No fame requirement necessary. Okay guys, let's go. They're gonna go sit and chat. Here we go and we're gonna flirt with him. He's liking it, okay? They just needed to kind of grow up a little bit, but they were pretty feisty in their younger days. I feel like Miles, yeah, he's a land grab, so she's definitely interested. Oh, we've kissed four Sims? Oh, since when? Did he count when we kissed his hands? Do kissing hands count? Oh, wow, there's a lot of other people. Oh, look, Thorin is an elder now. This is wild. Who's this? Angelica Pancakes, she's a team. And Guy is a flipping course here. Why do we always know at least one person everywhere we go? Okay, I guess we already had our first kiss with him, which is interesting. Just need to like kiss more and get their romance up. Oh, there they go. Okay, oh, she leveled up her charisma skill. Oh, good job, Poppy. I guess it goes up way faster if you're like doing charismatic things with the Sim. We are so close to having a strong romantic relationship. Guy, I cannot believe is still like, he's always around. Go sit together upstairs. I, I want them to not be 
with these other people. I want them to kind of, okay, they've become great friends. That's good. Not what I wanted, but fine. Okay, here we go, Miles. Yes, there we are. We just need to keep going. They're not the perfect couple, I'll admit it, all right? I don't even know if she's attracted to him at all. <laughs> she thinks he's basic looking. And Dana Cotter, I think probably the same. Oh no, Dana's a unattractive. She does not find Dana attractive at all. She really only finds, I think, Dan and then Gray. They were attractive, but Gray's a teen now still so she's a little older she's so close come on oh we got it okay we are two of three okay so perfect we just need our third sim and then we need to kiss 10 sims which we only kissed four angela she's kind of cute too actually angela we're calling their sibling how cute is that we called one of our siblings the date is over with miles land grab hunter was like glad we got to talk today okay let's let's go home it's 9 30 she's like a little hungry we're in a strong romantic relationship with Miles and Dan, but not with Josh. So I feel like she could invite over Josh. She is running through these men. I honestly feel like, you know, she just moved into the city. She's having a lot of fun and she finds flirting just super fun. But also I feel like the other reason she's so flirty is like, she's a little lonely. Like she moved into this place in this area. She doesn't know. She doesn't know anyone really at work yet either. It doesn't seem like there's really any people her own age in this career. So I think that she's just having fun, like inviting, you know, people over. Josh Goodman's coming, come over. Oh, look at Rosie having a good time. It looks like Josh is here. What is he doing? Okay, she's got her ramen. What is happening? Why are they, where'd they go? Why are they going downstairs? Um, excuse me, Josh. First off, why did this happen? Now she's running back upstairs. Don't understand it. Don't understand this at all. He is still downstairs. I don't understand what's happening. Chill in my apartment with me. Gosh, darn it. Okay, let's kiss his hands. There we go. She can kind of romance him. Ooh, kissing his hands. I, I wonder if that'll count towards our kisses. It might not. Oh, no, it did. Yes. Oh yeah, he's so into her. Like she didn't even want to be at home alone for too long. She immediately invited over Josh and was like, hey, you want to come over? There we go, boom, another relationship down. She's kissed five sims. That's all we needed you for, Josh. I'm super sorry. That's all we wanted. So we're gonna go to bed. It was for the challenge, sorry. She just feels like she's really playing the field though right now. It doesn't really feel like she's finding any like, I don't know, like really intense feelings towards anyone. She wants to a woohoo with Miles? <gasps> Interesting, interesting. She's gonna do her yoga before work and she wants to woohoo with Miles. That's very interesting from being in a near romantic relationship. Ooh, wellness skill level four. Good job, Pop. So she's feeling pretty confident. She's practicing her speeches, getting ready for work today. And now she's off to work. I love that she always wears this outfit to work. That makes me super happy. Oh, save the llamas. On her way to city hall, a reporter shouted a question. Poppy, Poppy, how can you work for a politician that continues to approve of new construction that's threatening the natural habitat of llamas. The question caught Poppy off guard with all of the progress City Hall had been making for its constituents. She hadn't thought about the llamas at all. Will Poppy bluff her way through the answer or will she keep walking without answering? She's gonna gain fame if she answers. I don't want her to make any enemies. I think she's just gonna ignore them. Oh, do you want us to come see your mom for a little while? Sorry, Mint, we're at work. Oh my gosh, why are people still being able to come in here? Lexus, no, we don't even know you. Oh, she's really angry. Okay, let's, uh, Let's work hard. Okay, let's work hard. <gasps> is this man dying? Salim Benaldi is dying on our front porch? We're not even home. We're at work. I'm so glad Rosie technically can't see what's happening. Like this, it looks like Rosie's watching. Rosie is not. Unless Rosie can see through walls, which I don't think she can, but like, I don't know. Why do we have this? We don't want this. Why is this all? No, we don't want this. Excuse me. And death is just chilling in our apartment. Get out. Get out of our apartment. Mom, I love you. I'm not giving you an apartment key. Please, just please leave. We are so close to a third promotion. Okay, she did a good job from work. Who is this? Rowan Elderberry. He looks very young for an adult. Hello, Rowan. Hello, Rowan. She wants to woohoo with someone. She's thinking twice about woohooing with someone. Kiss hands. If the kiss hands works, we're, we're gonna just do that. Does that count? Yes, it counted. Boom. All right, she's done. But you can go home now. I don't I don't really, I don't really wanna. Oh, Cecilia looks like she's flirting with Nalali or something. Thing. But you know, dude, we're not really thinking about you. Who we are thinking about is uh, Miles. So why don't we ask Miles Landgrab over? She wants to woohoo. Mom, I swear to Jeebus, mom. Oh my gosh. And uh, guy is over as, are you okay, guy? 
Well, we just invited Miles over and we're going to invite him in because we want to woohoo, okay? So we are going to woohoo with Miles. I'm sorry, guy, it keeps coming over. And guy, we're just not focused on you right now, okay? We want to hook up with Miles. We think it might get us ahead. Okay, I feel like she thought she was going to get a promotion today. I was really upset when she didn't. And then, you know, she just feels like kind of overwhelmed, a little lonely still. You know, she saw that guy, she kind of flirted with him, gave him a little kiss on the hands, was like, you know what? I'm not into that because I don't think he can get me anything. You know who could get me something? Miles. She's rushing into this. She's kind of full of passion right now. She's feeling feisty. She's also still sad over the death of her pet and feeling exhausted and a little lonely, but she's also feeling pretty proud of herself from like the promotions that she has gotten. All of this, I feel like is going to add up to her wanting to woohoo with Miles. So we're gonna woohoo with Miles. I'm sorry. Oh, and then meanwhile, guy Scott, I know he has a key to the house, but this was not the time, guy. He's raiding our fridge. Okay, well, whatever. Just don't come in, okay? Don't come in. Cause we're we're woohooing with My Miles, who arguably has terrible pajamas. Oh my gosh, Miles Landgrab used a condom. Good for him. Sometimes your girl needs some privacy, okay, guy? He's just always at the house. All right, let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, she's gonna pass out. Yep. She's gonna pass out. She's so tired. She was like, oh gosh, I did that took her out of it. He did use a condom, but I feel like she would just wanna check. It's her first time. Oh my gosh, Akira's dying on my lot too. Are you flipping kidding me right now? Oh my gosh, death is on our doorstep again. Oh my gosh, we're passed out. Oh no, oh no. You know, it's too bad that she's not the character that needs to see death for her career because she could have seen a lot of it today, but she's focused on possibly new life. We'll see. Okay, she's not pregnant. She's probably happy about that, you know? No accidental pregnance for her yet. <laughs> Why don't you just go to sleep? Don't witness the death. Don't witness the death. Go to bed. I don't want you upset again. All our neighbors are dying. Um, okay. Well, this is weird. I'm gonna leave this here. <laughs> we are almost over halfway to this next uh, level of the serial mantic. We are on level, a politician level three of 10. So we're one third of the way done. Almost a, l a little less than one third of the way done through our politician career. And yeah, I feel like we're crushing this so far. Poppy's starting to get a little risky with her love affairs. I think that she's kind of just all over the place. She was mourning her cat. She li lives alone. She's used to being surrounded by family. So I feel like she's kind of stressed at work and she's kind of letting loose a lot. She's very young still too. She's probably only 19. I think she might be getting herself into some more mischief in the next episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys around the internet very soon. Bye!